Hello guys, how are you today? My name is Abdullah Zahwan from Indonesia and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, we are going to continue our previous video and in this video, we are going to show that picker when we press our button. So let's open our previous project. So this is our previous project and first thing first, we need to open to do screen. And when we run our app and when we press this floating action button, it will go to create to do screen which means this is our to do screen file and in the previous video we have add these features which means then we press this drop down menu it will source us all the item inside our categories table but when we press this nothing to do so right now we want to show that picker when we press this all right so firstly open to the screen file and then we need to import new package the package name is internationalization all right you can get this package on pub.dev slash package slash entl all right and to install this package as simple as that firstly just press this installing and copy this and we back to our Android Studio and we go to PubSpec YAML and like the before we need to paste this below our previous and then just press PubGet and we see process finish with exit code 0 it means that we have successfully add new dependencies to our Flutter project. And we close this file. And now we can import internationalization package inside our project. So we need to import this package internationalization. Alright. After that, we need to initialize that time. Which means that we want to get current date. And we say that time dot now after that we need to create a new method and we name our method as selected to do date and we give parameter context and we make our method to be asynchronous and inside our method we can create a new variable we name it as pick date and we assign with show date picker and it will automatically generate at least four properties context initial date first date and last date and for the properties contact we can say context which means that this is equal with this and for the initial date we can say date time which means that when we press it will source us current date all right and for the first date we can say date time and we can say let's say 2000 and for the last date let's say 2100 all right which means that this is start date and this is last date we can set this as we want after that we can create if else statement and we say if pick date is not null and we say set state and inside that we can say date time equal with pick date after that we can call our to do that controller and we can make it to be text and we assign with that format and for the format year, month, and day. And we want to format our pick date. All right. So I think we need to make our controller to be private so we can give underscore for every controller and we go to our previous let's say this and then this and this and the last is this all right and we see it's not reference so we need to call this inside our text field which is insert on tab and we call here selected to do date and we say context and let's restart our app and press this floating action button and when we press this it will show us that picker 
So we can pick, let's say, thirty April, and let's press this, and we see it will automatically generate our date picker or pick a date. All right. So as simple as that. So I think that's enough our video today. See you on the next video.